This level looks pretty easy. I mean, you're just bouncing on clouds. How hard can it- Oh my god, what the hell is that? New Super Mario Bros. Wii. One of the best games on the Nintendo Wii. It's Mario Bros, but new. Er. Anyway, this game like all Mario games has many levels in which you must use new power-ups to proceed throughout the level. Every level is grouped into worlds, giving each and every world an interesting characteristic that separates it from the rest. So without any more wait, this is my top 5 new Super Mario Bros. worlds. Ice levels suck. Like, seriously, they suck. In fact, I can only name one ice level that I really like, and that would be the one from Paper Mario. Anyway, Nintendo was feeling good, and they made ice levels less boring by adding penguin suits. Now you're Mario, but a penguin. Now you can soar through levels, shoot ice cubes, and walk just like a penguin. I think you're taking this a little too far, Mario. Something else that I really enjoy about ice levels in this game is that the Hammer Bros are back. Now I know a lot of people hated these guys, but hell, it's good to see something old nowadays. And the Ice Bros really added a nice touch to the ice world in my opinion. Oh, and apparently you turn into a refrigerator when they hit you. Just slap Whirlpool on there and you got yourself a new refrigerator. Also, must I add that there's penguins under DUI, moving glaciers, and even some underground ice levels. Not so bad anymore, is it? So obviously mushroom levels are fun. Or at least at first they are. It's a very unique and interesting way to bring all the old enemies and make them new. Again. And yes, the first level has the same blocks as 1-1. And yeah, there's the same Goomba right there. And the same spinning thing? Wait, what the hell is this? So... Mushroom modes have very interesting characteristics, such as helicopters, dancing flowers, wheel of fortune, and oh my god, did that Koopa just break dance? Also, this is the first world to introduce Yoshi, apples, and, well, everything else pretty much. One of my favorite enemies here are also the Hammer Brothers, because why not? And in case you were wondering, this world has a very shocking secret, or at least it was very shocking to me. But, pretty much, in the very first level, there's a wheel with a pipe, and if you just hang around, then you'll realize that there's three secret 1-ups. And you thought 1-1 was boring. Well, well, Mario's at the beach. How clever. And this is obviously not his first time either. Although many people hate this world, I personally really like it. Especially when using the penguin or mini power-up. It makes you realize all the amazing things that Mario is actually capable of. Also, the enemies here are very well designed. And as you can see, they're also very well placed. It really helps you casually and quickly beat the level. And have a ton of fun doing so, as you can see. Oh, and let's not forget the crabs and the extremely annoying Lakitus. I mean, was he really necessary? And in the beach? I was enjoying this world up until the point where Mr. Sharpballs decided to show up and ruin the whole day. Okay, sure, he was here. And here. But here? At the beach? Uh, no. Anyway, the underwater levels are quite enjoyable to play as well. Especially with power-ups. And yes, underwater fire is a thing. Now everybody knows how hard lava levels are, but to me, I just get a little bit bored of playing this sometimes. Some of us just need a challenge every once in a while. And man, lava levels are definitely challenging. There's just so much going on. There's lava spurting out everywhere, best platforming, and it even rains meteors. And yes, you heard right, there's actually a level with a meteor shower happening. And if all of that wasn't enough, some levels actually rush you with these dark clouds stalking you throughout the level. And apparently if you touch them... Well... Let's just say they're not so fluffy. And of course, there's everyone's favorite lava level, the roller coaster. 
Oh, now you know it's getting real if the roller coaster screams for you. Oh, and this level obviously has the best ending ever. Now, I don't know about you, but I did not see this one coming the first time around. Oh, and it's definitely worth mentioning that the lava world is also home to Bowser's Castle. Oh, and just throwing that out there, probably the funnest minigame in the whole entire game is in the lava world. And yes, I'm talking about the one with the balloons. The balloons with the manly toad face. And for this minigame, you have to collect all eight balloons before you run out of time, get burned to death, or even fall in the lava. Whichever comes first. Now that's my kind of minigame. Okay, not gonna lie. I hated these swamp levels at first, but over time, I just really love playing them now. It has a variety of obstacles, from poison water to mosquito-like Pac-Mans. These levels definitely have a lot to offer, not to mention all the secrets in these levels. In fact, something not so well known is that if you launch out of a pipe and hit one of these dudes, they actually drop 20 coins. You ain't talking money, I don't wanna talk. There's also the Wigglers, which are probably one of my favorite enemies in this game. Not to mention, it's pretty fun to piss them off every once in a while. There's also these big guys, which are clearly not hard to dodge. Another great thing about these levels is making Mario go Tarzan through all these vines. Because, you know, Mario is just childish like that. Overall, these levels are just great. Mostly because of all the variety there is. And even though other levels seem better than this one to other people, it still remains as one of my all-time personal favorites. Well, thank you for watching my video. Feel free to comment, favorite, and like the video. Also, feel free to leave suggestions in the comments on what video I should do next. Because it's been like, what, four months that I haven't posted? Also, thank you guys so much for 350 subs. That's just so amazing. Anyway, if you want to see my top 5 Sonic transformations, then click here. Because, you know, it's about Sonic. And also, shout out to Komodo Dags, who gave me the idea for this top 5. Oh, and must I mention that she's also a great Minecraft animator. Just saying. Well, that's all I got for today. This was Deku Gamer, and I will see you guys next time.